state secondary schools are refusing to implement a directive which requires them to provide students who opt out of religious instruction with access to another subject. I'm joined by Jane Donnelly. Good morning to Jane. How are you? Good morning. Jane, can you just just remind us who you represent, please? My name is Jane Donnelly and I'm from Atheist Ireland. I deal with a lot with the education system and human rights law. So then, can you just explain to us why this is such a big issue at the moment? Uh, So are are you saying that basically uh, people who are atheists during religious classes are given no alternative class to do? Is that basically it? Yes, yes. And the Department of Education issued circular letters in 2018. That was a directive to ETB schools, which are state schools, and told them that if students opted out of religious instruction and worship, they were entitled to get another subject. Circular letters are issued from now and then from the Department of Education on various matters. But the ETB schools are not complying with that circular letter. They're not even, one of the big things in the circular letter was they had to ask parents what they wanted. And they haven't even asked parents what they want. Do they want religious instruction and worship? for their children and the ETBs are just ignoring that so that's what it's all about and uh, um, we are campaigning to have the right to opt out of any religious teaching and choose another subject. Now, that is what it's about. So when you talk about education and training boards I, I, I know you're, you're speaking generally is it happening here in County Wexford? Well, of course it's happening. If there's ETBs are uh, the old VECs, what used to be the old VECs, they're referred to as uh, community schools, they might be called, or community colleges. So there are just um, under half of the second level schools in Ireland are ETB schools. So it is happening there. You are entitled to it, and you were always con- had a constitutional right to opt out. But the new directive from the Department of Education obliged the schools to let students pick another subject if they wanted to ask uh, opt out of religious teaching. But the, it also obliged schools, ETB schools, to ask parents what they wanted in relation to religious instruction and worship. So the sc- ETB schools haven't even done that. They won't do that. They won't ask parents what they want. And we believe that they're, they're not asking parents because they're afraid that parents will, uh, um, en masse, opt their children out of religion and pick another subject. So that's what the issue is. Right. And that, that, uh, um, um, it is totally discrimination and a breach of human rights. You have, you have a constitutional right to opt out of religion. And any religious uh, worship, it's in the Constitution, it's also in the Education Act. And this directive, all this directive was doing was telling schools to give you another subject so that you didn't have to sit, your child didn't have to sit at the back of the class anymore. They ha- could pick technical graphics, they could pick history or any other subject that they wanted. And that has not happened. Those R- directives were out in 2018 and it has not happened. Could you put a, a figure on it, a number of people affected by this then? It is just under half of second level schools are ETB schools. So it's just under half of... Uh, um, the schools in Ireland. But, I mean, the thing is that if if Catholic parents want Catholic religious instruction and worship in those ETB schools, they can still get that. But it's just the students. And they're not just atheist students. Other minority uh, religion um, school, uh, religious faiths, other minority religious faiths, they don't necessarily want to do Catholic religious instruction and worship. So they want to opt out as well and pick another subject. And there's a, um, a lot of students that just are not interested and tell their parents that they're not interested in the religious teaching, that they want to do another subject. So what do they so, do then, Jane, during these spare classes? Is it study time? or What happens? Well, they just sit at the back of the class. And so most, a lot of the ETB schools won't even let them do their homework. You know, so they uh, um, they might look at another subject or something like that, but that's what they do. They, they sit, and it's not only for religious instruction classes. A lot of the ETBs would have masses or different uh, religious ceremonies during uh, the day, um, various days for uh, um, Easter around that time. So they have nothing to do when that's going on either. Are they, they pressurised to go to these services or can they go into a, a separate class? What happens? 
What happens is, uh, what you hear a lot from parents is that they're coerced into going to them because the schools would say, we have nobody to supervise you. So either your parents pick you up from the school or you leave the school premises when um, there's something going on with religious. Now, we have heard of one school that uh, told um, a a parent that they wouldn't supervise their child even when the child was opted out of the religion class. So the child had to leave the school when religious class was going on. But mostly ETBs, as well as denominational schools, will supervise children in the religion class. But And then what happens is, as well, parents have told us, is that they're brought into a meeting in the school. And the reasons for opting out, then, of religious teaching um, are discussed in detail, which is another breach of human rights. Mm -hmm. And we have seen um, a letter from a school an ETB school asking a parent who wanted to opt out their child to come into a meeting to discuss it, which brings into play all GDPR issues and all that kind of um, other um, areas as well. Thank you for sharing with us this morning your view. I would like to get the listeners' view as well. 0873737956 is our text line number. But in in the main now that you've aired the view, what sort of reaction are you getting from it? We're we're still out of school term as we speak. Are you hopeful, hopeful this will be rectified when you go back into school term? We are, we really are, but we we do know already that the Catholic bishops have been in with the Department of Education just last April and lobbying over this circular letter. So obviously they are trying to get it reversed so that the schools will not apply. Now they went in to see the minister over state schools, not denominational schools, because this circular letter only applied to ETB schools. So there is a lot of lobbying by the church going on in the background. So um, we are hoping that the minister does not bend and he continues to keep those that directive in place and that we have a right, because we have a constitutional right, to opt out of any religious teaching and we want another subject. Thank you for taking our call this morning. That was uh, Jane Donnelly there.